I'm gonna take over Napoli for 10 seasons. The goal is to win as many trophies as possible, build a dynasty, and make Napoli the greatest Italian team of all time. But the wheel of career mode is here to stop that from happening. Every season, we're gonna spin the wheel once and we'll be completing a challenge we get. Now, the challenge can help us win the Scudetto or it could relegate us down to Serie B. Let's see in 10 seasons how many trophies we can win with Napoli and where can we put them on the takeover leaderboard. The record is 26. Could Napoli end up breaking it? All right, boys, Napoli takeover. I'm actually gassed for this because Napoli in real life are going to win Serie A by a landslide. Their team is actually insane. So over these 10 seasons, it's going to be very curious seeing how we can grow this team. Like Osimhen up top is absolutely insane. Kim Min Jae, apparently Mourinho rates him so highly that he wanted to sign him, but never could. Then we got players like Politano, the Mexican king Lozano himself. And how can I forget the carrot himself, Quicha Quaranchiquilia. I don't know why I called him a carrot. But this team is pretty good and to build on it will be fun. And we do have 55 million to work with. But don't you forget, the wheel of career mode is here to ruin our lives and let's see in season one what kind of a challenge is it going to give us. A good one, a bad one, or an absolutely terrible one. Luckily, that is not happening. And so the first challenge is going to be... Oh, no. Oh, no. This is the worst thing that could have happened to us. Ah, swap your defense with Serie A's worst club. Honestly, Serie A's worst club right now should be Juventus, but it isn't them. It's actually Cremonese. Who do Cremonese even have? What a brutal start to this takeover, man. Honestly. Let's look at their team. Let's look at the defense that Cremonese have. No way. These guys' defense is so bad. Are we really going to have to sign these players? Oh, we're going to have to replace our center backs and I think, oh, he's on loan. We are literally gonna have to swap Kim Min Jae for this guy, man. I can't believe it. Guys, my head hurts just doing this. I literally can't believe it. Uh, they don't even want him, so we're just gonna have to get him and then sell Kim Min Jae or something like that. If we could have signed this Mexican dude, it would have been so nice, but he's on loan, so we can't even sign him. So the other centre-back option we've got is literally Vlad Kiriches. I can't believe it. Look at how bad their left-back is. At least he's young, so we've got that going, but my god. <laughs> Oh, their right back is even worse. No, our defense for this first season is going to get absolutely cooked. I cannot believe it. One by one, we're signing these frauds for our back line. How has this Napoli takeover had the worst possible start ever? Look at this. We've got another random NPC defender joining us at, at the cost of players like him and Jay leaving. I, I genuinely want to cry. If we can get Napoli to win a ton of trophies in this takeover, that would be just insane from this position. To complete the signings from the worst Serie A team, we've now got the fullbacks joining the club as well. That's sorted. We've basically replaced our entire back line with a bunch of nobodies. I'm, I'm, I'm depressed right now. Hello, darkness, my old friend. This is going to be our defense. Literally, guys, what on earth are we going to do with this Napoli defense? We, we're going to make them from title contenders to the relegation threatened club. <laughs> I can't believe this has happened. Not just that, we got to sell the likes of Kim Min Jae and Ramon as well. Before we can make any transfers, we got to get them out of the club. I already sold our fullbacks Mario Rui and Di Lorenzo. At least we got a bit of cash for them. And now Romani has been sold as well to Leverkusen. And since I couldn't sell Kim Min Jae, no club came in with an offer. We just had to release him for free. Ah, that was the worst possible challenge we could get to start things off. We now have 116 million and boy do we need to use that money as much as possible to improve this team like crazy. Remember, we've only got two signings. And because the first challenge impacted our defense, we can't change any of that. But I think I have an idea. With our defense being absolutely modern, I thought it made sense to sign a new goalkeeper. So I swapped Merit for Unai Simon and a cheeky 20 million transfer offer. That's our goalkeeping position sorted for a while. Let's go, man. I think it's a great deal considering the terrible situation we're in. You know what? After all that we've been through already in this takeover, I want to make a statement signing. And what better statement than sign Nicolo Barella from England? Enter. I don't know if we'll have the cash, but let's just give this a go. Okay, we've got 91 million, and I think I can put Lobotka in the swap deal here. That would make it work, I think. Lobotka plus about 50 or 60 million, and let's see what they think. They want 92, but it definitely is in the realms of happening. This would be our last signing of this window, and it would be crazy. After losing our entire defense, signing Barella would be perfect, and we're making it happen. And so to cope with all this chaos, we've upgraded our 
midfield massively with Nicolo Barella heading to the club. This was expensive, boys. I gotta say, but I think it's worth it. The team is ready. The midfield and attack is insane. The defense is just as bad as it gets, but we've got Unai Simon protecting the net. Let's see how we do in our first season. If we can win a trophy with that defense, that's gonna be a miracle. Okay, guys, we're at the end of the season, and for some reason, the Champions League cutscene is playing. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? What? How? How? We, we got rid of our entire defense? I can't believe this. I refuse to believe this. How have we made a Champions League final? We knocked out the likes of Atletico Madrid, pumping them as well. Got through PSG and even Real Madrid. This is wild. Bro, I can't believe it. How did we do in other competitions? We won Serie A, trophy number one. I, I, I'm, I still can't believe this. We reached the cup final as well, but we couldn't win it. But hey, that's fine. Mostly, it's the Champions League final I refuse to believe. How? Bro, just, just look at that team. We do not have any of the old players. No Kim Min Jae, no one. Uh, the, these four defenders, they're going to be called heroes for Napoli now. I guess investing in Barella was a dub. Look at Ossiman as well. He's flown in his overall. This is it now, I guess. Somehow we've got a chance to win the Champions League in our first season itself. And we beat Bayern. And we do, bro. This might be the craziest turnarounds in this takeover series. We've just won the Champions League in season one. Trophy number two secured. And we had to change our whole defense for a bunch of noobs. Who scored all the goals for us? Ossiman. I'm not even surprised. Richard did incredibly well too. Barella stepped up. And look at Ossiman playing pretty much every single game and getting an assist as well. What a signing. So after the first season, Ossiman top scorer, Barella top assister, and somehow we've got a couple of trophies. This makes no sense. Before we get to the next season, over 65% of you guys haven't subscribed to my channel. We're trying to push for 700k subs. If you guys could help me out, that'd be amazing. It's time for season two, and can you imagine if the Wheel of Career Mode actually ends up helping us out for a change? What would happen? Okay, it looks like we're gonna get a good one. Sign a Future Stars player. Just like Team of the Year, EA released a set of Future Stars players. I think they've just selected the most promising players and given them like a boosted overall. And now with the challenge the Wheel has given us, we get to pick one of these Future Stars with that boosted overall and put him right into our team. Sometimes the Wheel gives you pain and sometimes joy and this is definitely the latter. Okay, so we've got Julian Alvarez. Can you imagine? Gavi, Modric, Adeyemi. But bro, because of how I think our defense has been ripped apart, we need to sign a center back. And honestly, I don't see anyone better than Guardiol. We get an 89 rated Guardiol in our team. Oh boy. And there you go, guys. For season two, we get an 89 rated Guardiol to head our back line. He's 89 at the age of 21. We've gotten really lucky with the wheel for this one. Bro, we were missing a center back as good as him and we have got him now. Look at his stats. Let's go. And we've got a cheeky 129 million to spend on two players. The wheel has been kind. Let's improve the team even more. Yo, I think it's very obvious what improvements we're getting. Of course, we're going to sign a defender to save us from the carnage the wheel caused us last season. And it's Robin Lenormand we've signed. A French defender, 43.9 million for him. Finally, feels like we have a reasonable backline. And for 35 million, we've got a right back position sorted as well. When for Lutsharil Gir Truida. Hopefully, I'm saying his name right. He looks really good. We already had Oliveira at the club, so I think he'll be fine at left back. Let's put in Gir Truida. And that's basically going to be our team for season two. Not bad at all. I think the wheel has been very kind gifting us Guardiola. Let's see if we can follow up that insane season. Bro, this Napoli team is cracked. We've now won back-to-back -back Serie A titles. Trophy number three. We might be making some waves on the takeover leaderboards, man. And make that number four because we've just won the Super Cup as well. We keep winning. No Coppa Italia, though. What about the UEFA Super Cup? We win that. And that is trophy number five in just two seasons. Took an L, though, this time in the Champions League semifinals. But the fact that we're consistently winning this many trophies is mind-boggling. Bro, look at how the team is growing. Osimhen and Quaranchiquilla are just ballers now. Look at Barella, Zamba and Gisa. Our back line is better than ever. What a team we've built. Oh, Kvicha. My God. 35 goals this season. What a legend. Osimhen pulled his way too. Barella coming through with the assist. He's our assist king. Osimhen is still our top scorer only just. Barella's flying though with assist. And we're on five trophies in two seasons. We're on a bit of a roll here with Napoli. So I'm fully expecting the wheel to absolutely shaft us. And that is exactly what is happening. Oh no. What is this going to be? You can only sign free agents this season. We can't 
improve our team all that much, we're going to have to rely on free agents. The thing is, we've actually got a few really good players leaving, like Politano. It's going to be a problem to replace him, which is free agents. All that money, but I can only sign free agents this season. I'm not liking this. Okay, so definitely we need some squad depth. And, and through free agents, I think we can get that. Okay, so I actually found a really good youngster, Lorenzo Colombo. 75 rated, Italian free agent, 22 years old. We need a backup striker. I, I don't think we can go wrong with this. And so we've got ourselves Colombo as our first free agent signing. And I actually found another ridiculous one, Mattia Bianco. This kid has to be either the Chiellini or the Bonucci region. He's a free agent, 79 rated. I'm going to sign him up. I can't lie, I think we got really lucky with the free agents challenge. Even though it was a red one. Money, we, we've done pretty well. We didn't really make any improvements to our first team. In fact, a bit of a downgrade with Lozano coming in for Politano. But overall, squad depth improved. Let's see how many trophies we can win this season. Ah, oh, this time we end up losing Serie A to AC Milan. Bro, we've genuinely been better when we had the worst Serie A defense. We do win the Super Cup, though, so that's trophy number six. Ah, oh, we lost the Coppa Italia final. That's annoying. And this time, Barcelona get the better of us in the Champions League. Still, man, I'm impressed how good we've been with this Napoli team. But to be fair, if you look at our team, we need to start doing a bit better. Oh, Ossiman, Ossiman, Ossiman. If there were any doubts, this man has gone clear. Still Ossiman, top scorer. Still Barella, top assister. We're now on six trophies. We've had a slow season. Time to, you know, up the game. Okay, if I want to win the big trophies, man, we need the wheel to be a bit more kind to us. And let's see if it's going to do exactly that. I think it is. Okay, I'm loving this challenge. If it is what I think it is, make a random first team player 99 rated that is literally one of the best things that could happen to us okay now among these players we've got in our starting 11 who should become 99 overall bro we could make like unai simon 99 overall that would be sick or should we just make the youngest player 99 overall who's the youngest in this team probably be someone like gear druida you know what i've actually got an idea boys do you remember valeri guys when we signed him from the worst Serie A club he was part of our defense that won us the champions league and the league i think we deserve to make one of the worst Serie A defenders to of course the best and let's do that oh my god from the worst Serie A team we signed him he won us everything and now he's 99 rated we've used that challenge or task really well time to see how we can improve this team with a couple of signings and oh ho oh, oh, napoli 276 million we can sign anyone we want Ooh, I'm not happy with Lozano. Let's get a better right winger. I can't lie. Signing Chiesa from Juventus will be a lot of fun. Something like this could happen in real life considering what's happening at Juve. So let's see if we can make this happen. 103 million for Chiesa. Let's get him at Napoli. And so we make a superstar signing in Chiesa. Wow, that is a lot of money, man. 103 million. But it still leaves us with a lot of cash to make more insane signings. Of course, we were not done yet, boys. We've signed the German sensation Wurz for that cam position. And boy, was this expensive. 128 million. One thing's for sure, we've made this Napoli team absolutely insane. The question is, can we get back to winning the big trophies? Let's see if we're able to win the Serie A once again. And yes, indeed, a 99 rated player surely helps. We've won Serie A. That's trophy number seven. But the big one is this. Are we getting back to a Champions League final? We survive our group. We managed to knock out Liverpool. That's filling me with confidence. We get through Leverkusen. We get past Leipzig and we're in a Champions League final against Madrid. One thing I noticed when you're an Italian club, we've got less trophies to play for. So that's going to hinder Napoli. So we need to make the most of opportunities like this. And there you go. Two Champions Leagues for Napoli in two seasons. Mental. A trophy secured. Bro, look at Valeri. We made him a 99 rated left back and he's out here scoring 20 goals for us from left back. This, this is going to be a cheat code for us. Osiman once again stepping up big time. The likes of Barella and everyone too. We have Osiman top scorer, Barella top assister. We're on eight trophies after four seasons. Not bad at all. The wheel started off by being extremely brutal, but then it's kind of helped us out really well. What is it gonna do now? Oh, I don't like this. I do not like this at all. Randomly release the first team players. This is not ideal. Three of these first 11 players will be released from the club. Alright, so I've created a wheel and I've put all 
11 starting Napoli players in here. Who are we going to have to release? Just don't be Varela. Anyone else is fine. Oh, not Chiesa either. This is bad. We're going to have to release Chiesa. The fact that we only just signed him. This is painful. Chiesa's gone. This is getting painful now. Who are the other two players going to be? We're spinning it again. Don't be awesome. Man. Don't be awesome. Man. It isn't. It isn't. It's our right back. He's a good player though. It's Kier Truida. Uh-oh. Another really good player getting released. I don't like this at all. He's gone. And one final player we're spinning. Who is it going to be that we will be forced to release? Oh, that's a good one as well. Zampo and Giza. That's our CDM gone. With that, guys, our squad is left with absolutely no depth whatsoever. I think we can get away with not signing a new winger this season. I can play Lozano right wing. But we absolutely need a new CDM as well as a new right back. Yo, Sandro Tonali's contract expiring. He's definitely going to be the player I go for. Wow, if we can get Tonali for like 80 million, that's a steal. That is our CDM problem solved instantly. 84 million for him. That's a big dub. And there you go. We've just secured a phenomenal signing. We've made the best out of a terrible situation. A 90 rated Tonali joins us. Let me just put him into that starting 11 and boy, does it look good. To replace Gene Trudeau is not so easy, but I found a good player in Malo Gusto, the Frenchman. Got him for 56 million and he's 83 rated at the age of 23. Not too bad. The wheel tried its level best to ruin our team, but I think we've done a good job bouncing back signing Tonali Gusto. Team is looking fantastic now. Now, let's see if we can follow up with some great trophies. No, that is so frustrating. We end up losing the title on goal difference. Ay, 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 that is brutal. But we do win the Super Cup, putting our total up to nine trophies. Make that 10, because finally we won the Coppa Italia. And 11, because we won the UEFA Super Cup. But this time in the Champions League, Juventus got the better of us again. That is annoying. But bro, look at our team. It's, it's getting a bit insane now. We've built a super team here at Napoli. And Victor... Osiman keeps leading this team. Unbelievable stats. Still Osiman and Barella leading the charts and we're now on 11 trophies halfway through this takeover. Heading into season six, take a look at the takeover leaderboards. We, I think, should have a good chance to get Napoli in the top five, but beating the record being in the Serie A is going to be just impossible. There's just not enough competitions for Napoli to win. Let's see how things continue. I wouldn't mind a good challenge this time around, so let's see what the wheel has in store for us. Just don't be the bankrupt challenge. I ain't ready for that just yet. It's going to be an interesting one for sure. Sign a veteran Italian player and make him 18 again. We're going to have to find a veteran Italian player. And by making him 18 basically means I make him like a wonder kid. We're just going to do age 30, country, Italy, and see the kind of players that pop up. We've got to find players that you could call kind of like legends here. Bellotti is definitely one we could make a wonder kid. We will shortlist him. Oh, Berardi. That would be fun. What if Domenico Berardi was a wonder Kid. Oh, what about Stefan El Shirawi? Since we've got Creature, this is kind of pointless. Oh, making Chido Immobile young again or Jorginho young again? That definitely sounds interesting. Do you know what? I think we just go with Marco Verratti. He's just perfect for this. We can make him a wonder kid and he will be insane. Marco Verratti is arriving at Napoli, but as soon as he enters, he becomes a changed man. Verratti is now the youngest player in our team. The wheel of career mode has done us a solid favor. 18 years old, Verratti. 84 overall. Bro, that's a gem we've got for the rest of this takeover. Crazy thing is he's going to add solid squad depth and soon probably take over from Barella. Talking about squad depth, we've got a couple of signings and I have a couple of good players that I think we need to bring in. We are desperate for some depth. We've signed the Brazilian sensation Anthony to bolster our attack even more from Man United. Had to pay 128 million to bring him. This is going to be a good one, guys. I think he fits the Napoli way of football. I'll I love that. Him, Creature, and Osimhen up top. Oh boy, is that an attack. And we're also signing Steven Bergwijn for 40 million just to give us a bit of squad depth. This team is nothing short of insane. Let's keep the trophies rolling. Another Serie A has been secured this time over Juventus. We take those. Trophy number 12 in the bag. Make that 13 because we've just won the Super Cup. Oh, you love to see that. Trophy number 14, a domestic treble in the bag. Oh, but Newcastle looks like their insane money spending project has worked and they're in a challenge. Champions League final. Fair enough. They knock us out. But hey, still getting to, of course, 14 trophies in season six. Not bad. Bro, this is Osman's best season for us yet. 50 goals. What on earth? This man's crazy. Nobody can stop Osman and Barella. They're dominating for us. And of course, 14 trophies, four seasons to go. Let's see how far we can keep pushing. In all of the takeovers we've done so far, we 
they've never been hit with the bankrupt challenge could today be the first time that happens well at least not now what is this next challenge gonna be find the next diego maradona interesting you guys know the legacy between maradona and napoli so the next diego maradona i think the best person who could be that would be a messi or di maria region you're gonna have to find him i reckon our best bet would be to look in leagues like the liga or maybe something like the premier league and okay so yago espinosa definitely looks like the next diego maradona he's right footed though but he's got the same height as you know similar height to leo messi and maradona it might be him we we'll put him in the shortlist but i'm sure they're gonna be more players like of course that so let, let, let's hunt a bit i don't think anyone is as good as that guys i can't seem to find anyone decent or at that level i think he is the man he is the next diego maradona and let's bring him to napoli okay we already have a couple of right wingers at the club so i think for it to make sense actually let's put lozano in this deal i think that makes a lot of sense lozano 120 million who says no well conte well we'll just run with whatever they want let's get this out of the way we're signing the next diego maradona for napoli we'll definitely take that absolutely solid challenge to help us out an even better right winger to have in the team now time to improve our squad depth with the two signings we've got and the first one is raspadori remember he was at our club for the first season then moved away and now we've decided to sign him back 86 rated i think he'll be a great backup striker and guess who we just brought back to napoli kim Min Jae, remember who we had to get rid of in the first season? Got the 31-year-old back for about 30 million. Let's go. This season feels like we've got some much-needed squad depth as well. A solid first team. The next Diego Maradona as well. Let's see how the season goes. Okay, Napoli, I see you. We're winning the big trophies more and more. 15 trophies now in our seventh season. Yo, we might be making some records here. Especially if we keep winning trophies like this. That's trophy number 16 in the bag. Make that 17. We've literally won everything so far this season but the big one is this we're in another champions league final 18 trophies after seven seasons we might be hitting some record territory if we can pull this off the team is insane let's see if we can beat real madrid the kings of the champions league let's go a 99 rated player scored as well in this game gotta say we haven't lost a single champions league final with napoli 18 trophies now osiman's the king man we've just made him goaded in this takeover it's still my boy Osiman and Barella top in the chart. And don't forget, we're on 18 trophies now. You know what? If we avoid the bankrupt challenge, I think there's a good chance we should be able to, you know, get 20 plus trophies, maybe 22 plus trophies. And with this challenge, it's probably going to be even better. We now sign a team of the year player for the next season. Okay, so we get to add one of these players into our team with their overall. Now, unfortunately, I think Messi, Benzema both have retired. We get to add team of the year Mbappe to our team. But I feel like that's a bit disrespectful to Ossiman, so I don't think I'm going for him. Can't lie, a Bellingham would be nice, but we've got enough players there. I think the most logical player would be Hakimi, because I think we're covered everywhere else. And so there you go, we've put Hakimi, team of the edition at Napoli. Oh, this is actually mental. The wheel has been so freaking kind to us. We've got a 94 rated team of the year Hakimi in our team now. Make it only one signing this season, just for squad depth purposes. Our team is just insane. And that one player is a cam called Christian Volpato. 59 million to get him. Imagine spending that much on a backup player. That's it. This team is as complete as it gets. Let's win some more trophies. By the way, take a look at the takeover leaderboards. One more trophy and we're putting Napoli in the top six. Wow, that is trophy number 19 secured. Napoli are in the top six on the leaderboards. Make that 20. They are climbing up. 21 because the Super Cup's in the bag. If we can get back into the Champions League final, which I can't believe believe it done it again done it again oh my days could we actually make it 22 trophies for napoli in just eight seasons yes we can we've not lost a single champions league final this time it was quicha who's now 97 rated as our top scorer i'm killing it with the assists as well but hey Osiman still holds the top scorer and Barella with the top assist to charts. We're now on 22 trophies. It just hit me four more trophies in two seasons and Napoli will be the new record holder. Who would have thought? This is where the wheel could end up ruining things for us. We just need four trophies to equal a historic takeover record. But if the wheel decides
decides to bankrupt me or something, it's gonna be impossible to complete. Okay, looks like this first challenge, it's a red because there's only bad challenges now. This is at least not too bad because we've only got two seasons left. Give three first team players permanent release clauses. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. I think I can give Unai Simon a release clause of about 80 million. I'm not too worried, but to be fair, he is 92 rated. I think this is gonna get paid. That's one down. Apart from Simon, who are like the worst players I can give release clauses? Probably Lenormand. He's 33, so I really don't mind giving him a release clause. Okay, what kind of a release clause can we give him? I don't know his value anymore. Um, what about like 80 million? Is that good? Yep, that works. Let's go. We've put him on a release clause as well. Since Donali's contract's expiring, I'm gonna put a release clause on him as well. Okay, 100 million release clause on Donali. That's gonna work. I think that could get paid though. Gotta put one on my boy Barella as well. I think because of his age, it makes sense. And we can do like 70 million on him. Probably should have done a bit more, but hey, that's fine. And finally, I think I'm gonna put a release clause on Ossiman because he's probably let the oldest player left. Uh, this is gonna be bad decision making from me. Hopefully nobody pays his release clause. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's gotta be like 130, 140 million though. What are they gonna say? Yup, they're working with that. So at least we've put high enough release clauses for most clubs to not be interested. That's five players on release clauses. Let's see and let's hope nobody comes for them. Can't lie, boys. This team is as complete as it gets. I don't want to sign anyone. Let's just go out there, win more trophies. Remember, four more trophies, we equal the record. Why are we in the Europa League final? Um, what happened? How did we get knocked out of the group stages? I don't get this. Tell me we at least won Serie A. No, we finished fourth. Something catastrophic has happened because of the release clauses. I can feel it. We did win at least one trophy, putting our total to 23 now. And the Super Cup as well, so we're on 20 four trophies, two away from equaling the record, but I'm pretty sure well wait, we have the Europa League final we can still make it 25 this season and I can already see what went wrong, the release clauses have shafted us, but first let's see if we can win, yes we can Europa League in the bag, that's 25 trophies, we might actually break the record, but okay let's figure out which place ended up leaving okay definitely ossiman has gone shouldn't have put a release clause on him we still have our goalkeepers, who left Ossiman left, I think. Oh, yeah. It was our center back. Wow. Ossiman left us for Barcelona. And Le Norman left us for Nottingham Forest. But hey, in the absence of Ossiman, who won top scorer? Ooh, it was Kvicha. Fair enough. It's still Ossiman. And of course, Barella as our top charters. And we're on 25 trophies. One away from equaling the record. All right, guys. It's time for the final season. And it could get really bad for us because there are only red and black challenges. It's going to be red. We survived the bankrupt one, but with one trophy to win, this is not what we needed. We got to accept the first three transfer offers we get. That too in the midst of all this chaos and us having to sign a couple of players because Ossiman and Lenormand left. So final season's going to be carnage. All right, guys, the new season begins. Before anything else, we need to accept the first three transfer offers we get. No... The first one is Unai Simon, and they're giving us a random striker instead. Ay ay ay! Let's just delegate and get him out of the club. That is so sad. Wow. The next transfer is Sandro Tonali's release clause being met. Well, that's two down. I can't believe this. So there you go, Unai Simon. He's gone. That's our first transfer offer accepted. Oh no! The next one is Gusto for 95 million. That's okay because we've got Hakimi. That's fine, guys. We got extremely lucky. We accepted the transfer offer for Gusto, all of them, but he ended up rejecting the clubs, which means we count that as a transfer offer accepted, but it's his problem he didn't sign with them, so we get to keep him, and that's two players that we've completed the challenge for. And the same thing happened with Tonali. He was not willing to leave the club even with that release clause, so we get to keep him. And with that, we've completed our challenge, at least for now, guys, and that's absolutely brilliant, although we need to now reinforce the team. First of all, Verratti back in the middle. Raspadori at striker is good enough, but I need a new goalkeeper. I don't think there's anyone better than Donnarumma in the business, boys. We've got two signings. I'm spending one on him. And so we've completed the signing of Donnarumma. That's big. In what could be our final signing, I'm trying to sign Mukoko because we need to replace Osman, I feel. And I don't think anyone better than Mukoko for the job right now. He's 89 rated. Let's do this. And so we've signed an 89 rated Mukoko for the team. That's it. That is the Napoli takeover team complete. All we need is one trophy to equal it, two to break the 
record. Let's see how things go. No, this is not good. We just needed one trophy to equal the record and Juventus ruined the day. We lose Serie A, but there's still more trophies to play. We don't win the Coppa Italia. This is not going well. No, we lost the UEFA Super Cup as well. Are we going to go trophyless? No. No, what about the Champions League? We managed to finish second in our group. We knocked out Barca. We got through City, but Juventus, no. It's Juventus who stopped us from creating takeover history. Absolutely gutted, man. Absolutely gutted. And also, Sandro Tonali left us this season. That release clause challenge was the thing that ruined the day for us. Oh, but we finish on 25 trophies, making Napoli the second best finisher in the takeover series so far. That is something I did not expect. Even though Creature had a really good end to the takeover, Osman still keeps the top scorer charts, Barella top assister, and we end, of course, on 25 trophies. If you enjoyed this takeover challenge, I'm sure you'll enjoy me do this with Barcelona. Click somewhere here to watch that.